Hey everybody, it's Saturday, February 1st, and I'm here on Lake Minnetonka to see the Women Ice Angler Project. I got the invitation back in December to come and see what it's all about, so let's go do that. It's quite an operation here and highly successful from what I've seen so far. It's an environment of learning and cooperation, accomplishment, and there's a great sense of camaraderie here on the ice. What happened was six years ago um, I got hired on by Clam Outdoors as one of their ice team pros. And I needed some uh, professional looking photos to get taken, so I called this friend of mine and said, hey, I need some fish photos. And then we got to talk and it's like, yeah, you don't see any photos of women fishing, and there's no photos in the catalogs. And so I gathered a group of media people, um, Christine Houtman, who is a writer, and um, Hannah Stonehouse Hudson, who's a photographer, and a couple other people, and uh, Shelly Holland, which, which is another ice team pro, and we went up to Lake of the Woods for this first ever media event called the Woman Ice Angler Project. Since that time, it has really grown. You know, we want to, we're trying to do multiple things at once. One is just introduce people to the sport that have never fished before, and uh, kind of say, hey, this is what it's kind of what it's like, and if, you know, you might like it if you try it. And then the other people that come out to fish with us that are already avid anglers, we try to work with them to give them some skill development to just try to help them improve their skills a lot um, in any way we can. And they have learning stations here where participants are learning about things like drilling holes, jigging, reading sonars, uh, interpreting maps, setting up portable shelters, all the kinds of things you need to know to do ice fishing. Pretty cool. With pike, as they're coming up, they have a lot of teeth. You do not want to put your hand in their mouth. <laughs> so you're, you're going to try and grab them um, either under the jaw or just behind the head. Sometimes what we do then is snap the head off and just use the head part. Hook it through the mouth, leave a little bit of the guts. You know, guts. <laughs> the good stuff. And then, um, you know, jig with that. And, and you, then your success of, of getting the fish up is far better because they don't have as much to grab onto. So, there's trout and it's like, there's little fish in Arizona, right? Up north, yeah. But okay. they're little. It's not like in Colorado. And of course, there's fishing. Lots and lots of fishing. Did I say fishing? I meant to say catching. Got it. Got it. Got it. Can you grab my backside? Oh, and there's one on my hook. That's a nicer one. Yeah, what? Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that is a nicer one. Hey! Hey, that's not a bad one. Just a little one. He is gone. Yes, he is. Emily, a good one. Yeah. She <laughs> got a fish. Yay. Let's see if it's another one. Let's step back so you can get a picture without me in it. Yes. Very nice. Great job. Good job. How exciting. Yeah. That's Thank a good you guys. fish. Thanks yeah. For that. yeah. Nice. If you used to, I used to say it's all about the fishing, but I've seen women's lives changed through the outdoor industry. And, you know, women that um, are out here and living a life of adventure and they're gaining confidence and they're standing taller. Right within this group on the ice today, we have women whose lives have been changed dramatically. Okay. Oh, he's ready. Oh, good job. Good job. Goodbye. Well, that's a wrap. I think I'll be moving on. 
It's not because I'm not having fun, quite the opposite. This is lots of fun and lots of fish are being caught. It's just hard for me to watch so many fish coming through the ice and I don't even have a line in the water. I'm kidding, of course. Seriously though, I was glad to come out here and see this event. Glad to see that it's such a raging success. Thanks to Barb Carey for extending me the invitation to come out here. Glad I could make it. Best wishes to the Women Ice Angler Project for years and years of continued success. After seeing what I did here today, I don't think that's a stretch whatsoever to think that that would happen. All right, thanks for joining me. Back down in the water. Woo! <laughs>